All right, we have a circular table here, and I've drawn one person sitting at the circular table. There's Claire with the C. And I don't really care where Claire is sitting. She could be sitting at the top here. She could be sitting over to the side. It doesn't matter. We know Claire has to sit at the table. And there's 19 other people who are going to sit at the table also for 20 total. The question is, what's the probability that Claire and Angela are sitting next to each other? Notice that it doesn't matter where Claire is sitting. All that matters is me saying, what's the chance that Angela is sitting next to Claire? So where are the two places that Angela could sit? And there's 19 possibilities. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. See, there's 19 sits for, seats for Angela to sit in. She's either gonna sit here or here. Those are the places where she might be next to Claire. So you just say um, probability, this is one of my favorite equations for probabilities. Probability equals the number of successes divided by the total number. So we call in this case a success, Angela sitting next to Claire. So there's two chances of that happening, but there were 19 chairs for Angela to be sat in. So that means the probability of success is two, two divided by 19, which in this case is 10.5%. Now in this particular problem is a little bit different because you know there were originally 14 chairs, not 20 chairs, but I, I changed it up for some variety's sake. But that's how you go about it. You say number of success divided by number